Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. I thought we would um, show you how to make a, a bootable disk. Um, so we have a, a disk that we're using now in the A drive and we want to make a backup copy of that. So I've put a uh, uh, disk in drive C and so now we're going to uh, format and ask for the drive. So we'll say drive C. We're going to make it single sided, which is zero. Single density, S. Track number, star, I guess it does everything. Then sector size, I'm never sure about this, so I'll just put it in the biggest one, three. Is it a mini? No. I think mini means five and a quarter. Um, bad track or, oh, single. Okay, so sector size, I guess we'll have to put in zero. No. Okay, it's doing something. Hope you can hear that. So we will wait to see if it actually formatted this. And if it's the same size as the A drive. Sector size is always confusing to me. I'm never sure what they're asking for to figure that out. Okay, uh, it's done, so I'm going to reboot. I don't know how to exit that program without rebooting. And I don't want to format something accidentally, so just reboot. Okay, so let's uh, uh, look at the B drive. Oh, I mean the C drive. Oops, we want the C drive. Ah, reboot. <laughs> Shoot. CVM's not friendly that way. Okay. DRC. Okay, so there's no file. Uh, let's do a stat on C. Okay, 242. That's, that's, that sounds right. So let's do a stat on all disks. Should show us A and B. Okay, A and B. Do they look the same? Uh, 64, 128, 26. Look the same to me. Okay, so now we have a blank disk, or I mean a regular, uh, uh, recently formatted single density. I, I, my system at least, you cannot boot a double density disk. You can read double density disk and double sided disks, but it will only boot the single ones. At least that's what I know how to do. Okay, so let's put um, the system on the disk. So right now it's just blank. We need to put on the system, which is, I believe is track 0 and 1, are reserved for the CPM system. So um, there is a program called uh, Sysgen, uh, which is there one, two, fourth on the list, Sysgen. So we're going to do a Sysgen source name. OK, so we're going to say our uh, source is A, source on A, then type return. So it's going to take the uh, track 0 and 1, and it's going to throw them into memory. So it's going to make a kind of an ISO copy. Uh, then it says uh, the destination drive is going to be C, and return. And so now it's taking what's in memory and throwing it onto the drive 0 and 1. Okay, I'll return to reboot, I return. Okay, so we should have some uh, a system on, on C, but we still don't have any um, files over there. So let's take a look at what we have here and what's useful, and we'll copy our useful things over. So I think we want uh, ASM. So we'll put that on the C drive, asm.com. And we want, I, I like the D uh, directory. Pip uh, 
DB.com. And I believe um, plot format. I guess we want format. And I like list. That's like type, but it pa pauses every 24 lines. Let's see. Close list. And load. We need load. And basic, I guess, would be nice. Big file, 25K, <laughs> big for the day. And let's see, what else do we need? Uh, M basic, memory read, no, M map, move, pip, we need pip. PIP is peripheral interchange, something or other, something, I don't know. Let you, let you copy things like we're doing now. Ports, print, rlock, da, 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 stat. We need stat. And sweep time, try and load. I think that's about it. That'll be a good working disk. Uh, let's look at C drive. So now we have those things. So let's uh, take out the floppy in A, and we'll take out C, and we'll put it over into A. And that one should be able to boot. So let's try it out. Uh oh, didn't work. Oh, I'm getting an error on the screen saying R lock BIOS. Wow, it's the relocatable BIOS. So I guess when it loads CPM, it looks for that file and loads that into memory. So track zero and one only have part of CPM and the BIOS is the other part of CPM. So put this back into the C drive, put the old A drive back in. And we'll copy over our lock BIOS. Uh, R lock by 3K. Okay. So pip C equals relocatable BIOS.com. The BIOS has the serial console stuff. It has the disk drive stuff, everything that's um, particular to your hardware is in the BIOS. Okay, so I'm putting the C drive into the A drive and let's see if it boots now. Sounds right, good. So, we now have a new working disk. Well, that's how you do it. Um, there is other system things. I think you can probably find them online on how to change your CPM from a 64K memory system to a 32K memory system. That's what it means about being re relocatable. Um, 
there may not be a lot online about writing your first BIOS, which is a very big trick. You actually have to take a BIOS um, as a starting point and then insert your own thing. So if you have your own particular serial card, if you're not lucky enough to have it, have it at address 22 and 23 and actually bit 01 and are the right things, you need to configure your BIOS to do those things. And then uh, depending on which disk controller card you have, those have to be separate things in the BIOS. So um, it's tricky to get your first system up and running. Anyway, uh, we've successfully created a new bootable floppy.